Health information at Himmelfarb is the library's single search tool, which searches across the library's print and online collections. You can use Health Information at Himmelfarb to locate print and online journal articles and books, as well as multimedia materials from Himmelfarb Library. Health Information at Himmelfarb allows an easy keyword search and links out to the full text of the majority of items retrieved. You can search Health Information at Himmelfarb like you search Google or other search engines. Just type in your topic and the service will search the documents with all the significant terms. Health Information at Himmelfarb searches a combined database that aggregates several hundred health sciences information repositories, including Himmelfarb's library catalog, databases such as PubMed and Scopus, and numerous scientific publishers such as Elsevier's Science Direct, Wiley, and Springer. Here, we're interested in knowing risk factors for stroke. Health Information at Himmelfarb searches the contents of all activated data sources and uses relevancy ranking algorithms, just like the web's popular search engines, to bring you the most relevant records to the top of the results. Because so much content is included in Health Information at Himmelfarb, most searches will result in a large retrieval set. To narrow to the best resources, use the limits and facets that are available in the left-hand column. By default, search results are automatically limited to resources that are part of the library's print and online collections to increase relevance and usability. However, you can include materials not owned by Himmelfarb Library by selecting Expand My Results. If you choose Expand My Results, you can request items not available via Himmelfarb Library, via our Interlibrary Loan Service, Documents to Go, or via the Consortium Loan Service, which I'll talk about more in a moment. Beyond Expand My Results, you can also limit to availability, print only, online only, or both, publication date, content type, plus additional filters. For our stroke search, we'll filter for journal articles and articles published in the last five years. You'll notice that at the top of the left-hand column, all of the limits that have been applied are displayed. If you would like to remove a filter, just click on the X next to it. Full text items can be accessed by clicking on Available Online. A list of full text options for that item will display. For even faster access to full text, click on the Download Now links displayed for many resources. This feature automatically downloads a PDF from Himmelfarb Library's collection. View Issue Contents will allow you to see a specific article in the table of contents for that specific journal issue. Sometimes a search requires a more elaborate search strategy. For example, we know the specific article on stroke risk factors that we want to get to right away. Advanced search features allow a more traditional Boolean search. Here we're going to search for the author name Romero and a specific publication, Global Heart. Let's return to the simple search to explore some additional features of health information at Himmelfarb. So far, we've been searching articles plus Himmelfarb catalog. This searches across Himmelfarb's print and online holdings. By clicking on the arrow next to articles plus Himmelfarb, you can see other options for searching, including specifying either articles or Himmelfarb's catalog, or articles plus GW and consortium catalog. Changing the search profile to Articles plus GW and Consortium Catalog will allow you to find books and other materials which are available at other libraries in the local Washington, D.C. area. The local library consortium includes GW's Gelman and Burns Libraries, plus Georgetown University, American University, Catholic University, George Mason University, and more. For this search, I'm going to look for materials in Electronic Health Record, or EHR, adoption. 
This first item looks promising, so I'm going to click on it to see more information. I can see that this item is owned by George Mason University Libraries, and I'm going to click on the prompt to find out if it's currently available at George Mason. The availability information shows me that it is available in Fenwick Library and I'd like to order it. To order materials, I need to sign in to Health Information at Himmelfarb using my GWNet ID and password. Health Information at Himmelfarb accounts are automatically set up for faculty, residents, students, and staff who have their primary affiliation with the School of Medicine and Health Sciences, the Milken Institute School of Public Health, or the School of Nursing. Now that I'm logged in, I can see the request options. Because I know it's available at George Mason, I'm going to choose Consortium Loan Service, which means that George Mason's copy will be delivered to me within the next two to three days. The default pickup location is Himmelfarb Library, but I can adjust that to another location if it, if it is more convenient to me. For the EHR search, I'm going to work on this further and limit to the items which are available online and which have been published in the last 10 years. Let's take a closer look at the retrieval. This search is automatically sorted by relevance, but we could switch that to be by currency if desired or sort by title or author. The results screen provides several options for each item. You can email the record, obtain a permanent link to the record, add it to your favorites, or click on the three horizontal dots to get a complete list of options. The complete list gives you more options for working with this record, including obtaining a pre-formatted citation in APA, AMA, and additional citation formats, printing the record, exporting it to RefWorks, EndNote Web, or as an RIS file, or create a permanent link to the record. If you want more information about an item retrieved, click the title. This leads to the full record view. From here, you can easily see the full text links as well as additional information about the item, including complete title, author, and subject information, as well as the data source that supplied this record, in this case, Springer Science and Business Media. You also have access to the roster of send to options, including create a citation, printing, emailing, etc. To pin this item to your favorites list, click on the push pin icon in the upper right. If you use the push pin to add items to your favorites list, click on that icon in the upper menu bar to access your complete list of saved items. From this page, you can also choose to print, email, export to a citation management program like RefWorks or EndNote Web, among other options. To save the items in your account for future reference, select the items and then add a label to them. To save a search, switch to the Search History panel in the Favorites area. Then, click on the push pin icon adjacent to the search that you'd like to save. If you ever need assistance with health information at Himmelfarb, click on the Ask the Librarian chat button on the right side of the screen to launch a live chat session with one of our reference librarians. If you prefer, you can also send an email to himmelfarb at gwu.edu or phone the reference desk at 202-994-2850 for assistance. This concludes the online health information at Himmelfarb tutorial. We hope you found it useful. If it didn't answer your questions, chat, phone, or stop by and see us at Himmelfarb Library.